How's it going? This is Odd. Hey, it's Red here. And Mal. And you're about to listen to our podcast. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Probably not the greatest for having your kids around. Nope. We are a 18 plus podcast. And we would appreciate if you would take that into consideration, as we honestly are have horrible mouths, and terrible obviously influences will ruin your life. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, by what our name is, we are the Ganja people. And I was smoking during this intro. <laughs> hey, I'm Ud. I'm Red. And I'm Mal. And we are. The Ganja People. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, everybody! It's been another week. Did you guys have some Coke balls? Well, you just fed us candy, so candy. A candy. Hey, you've eaten or, had, like a candy. A candy. I've had like five. I don't know what the fuck you're smoking. I've only had um, one. But not I'm, enough weed yet. Anyways. Not enough weed. We're sober. This is the. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. This is the episode where we fucking <clears throat> start sober, like. <laughs> We're usually somewhat, like, <coughs> I don't know. somewhat buzzed in the head somehow. Like, usually me and Mal usually smoke at, like, four or five, and I we usually been, do this at, like, seven or eight, so. I've been fairly out of weed for the past 36 hours, so, uh. He's been using old carts to yeah, get him alive. Yeah, I've been sitting alive. on my old carts that have been on my table for, like, a year-ish. That's grody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's alright, because we're smoking some of that resin ball. Bang. ba 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 bang Uh, speaking of bang, I'm getting candy thrown My out. My safe. Other. My beard keeps me safe. <laughs> How's your beard keep ya? Man, I wish women had Keeps beards. me warm. It does. It's a good windbreak. I keep aiming for your pocket and I keep missing. <laughs> that one probably would have went close to in, but he caught it. Here's the thing. If you did. I know, but I just <laughs> oh, I don't care. I just want so to So by the way, Red already did the green hit. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I did. <coughs> so you guys are already fucking behind. You better keep going. <coughs> Sorry, I had a full conversation before I actually had to cough there. So. And I distracted him by throwing stuff. Like candy wrappers. Candy. <coughs> yeah, her, she no, <coughs> is this... <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah, sure, mm-hmm. This is the <laughs> Did wedding. they say that's the wedding crasher? This is crasher? the wedding crasher. All right, so we're smoking wedding crasher. Oh, wedding crasher. Not to be confused with the movie with um, Owen Wilson and Owen Wilson and okay, Vince but I like Vaughn. That movie. And Vince Vaughn, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I think it's funny. Red's like, there's not enough boobs in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what happens in it. <coughs> I, I think just, there's. <laughs> how can there be a wedding crasher if there's no boobs everywhere? Apparently, you've never watched the unrated version. Because there definitely is. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like Good Luck Chuck. That movie's horrible. <laughs> Good God. Oh, God. <coughs> what the fuck was that laugh, too? <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> Pull the Peter Griffin. He's trying to Peter Griffin. <laughs> I can't even Except it didn't even go down. It was just a... <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I had a really good Mickey Mouse voice going on yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't. Not with my voice the way it is. It was really funny. I don't, have I don't even voice. know what I said to Yetta. I said it to her at work, though. And, like, I was like, oh, boy, guys. But it was, like, perfect. Just how it sounded. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm having a little bit of Mickey on you today. I'm like, oh. I'm still having uh, trouble with the high range of my voice, so I'm missing... Half of my high ranged voices, so it's like, ah. <coughs> I haven't had an inhaler in five days, so. Oof. I have the really aggressive one, but I <coughs> haven't used it. Have uh, you remedied the situation or talked to no. it? You should. It'll be okay. His, don't worry. His, his check engine <laughs> lights on and blinking a little bit, but he's going through it. I, yeah, I, mean, I know. He turned up the music so he can't see it. Here. <laughs> I've I've been doing that for the past two months. It's long. just a slight wheezing. I'm all good. <laughs> Don't make me call you. Do we mama. have to call you Carl Weezer now? <laughs> no, I'm gonna call his mama. <laughs> I'm still got my ass to get a new inhaler. Mm-hmm. Or he needs one. She'll give me her one of her old ones that still has a hundred and some hits on it. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna call his mama and be like, "Hey, your son's been having an inhaler for five days and just just hasn't told you." 
It's not her problem. Then I suggest you fix it. Well, I don't have time. Hmm? I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon. For four fucking days. You have plenty of time. No. Yeah. No. You get out at like two o'clock tomorrow. You have plenty of time to get an inhaler. I don't. You have to. Don't you have to go, you have to, a to, go to a doctor's office? Yeah, for that. I was gonna say you can't just schedule an appointment for tomorrow because it was your day off or whatever. Don't you just call your fucking doctor and be like, "Hey, my inhaler ran out. Can you send me another one?" Nope. They make you come in and get checked up and everything else. Even with the COVID shit. Yeah. yeah. That's a dumb. And shit some I things ever heard. like I never had a doctor. Like my medication, I can't. I have to get like somebody to sign off on it. I can't just like call and be like, "Hey, I'm out." Like I have to go in, you know. They have to sign it, hand me the slip, and then I have to go. Yeah, for his anti-insane pills. Yes, yeah, my insane, my insane oh. in the membrane pills. Where did I lose them? Oh, she them. lost the lighter already. No, I lost my little steel balls. Oh, she lost her balls. Oh, you heard it here, guys. Yes, she lost her balls. I did. I think I threw them at you. You probably did. Right now. Oh. I suck. Oh. I get that chocolate, though. Oh, I almost had that I one get out. that chocolate. I don't care. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to reach over and get that chocolate out. I'm get that fucking chocolate eventually. Right meow. Eventually. Right in oh. meow. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw that. I was like, oh, fine if you want to throw it. No. Yeah, you toss yours. that right in your butt. Yeah, that was mine. That and it's probably the, the most fragile feeling piece of all mine. It feels thin as fuck. It's yeah, definitely it's like a single blown in the front there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it is a nice part. <coughs> I like it. Though it is not what I thought it was when I ordered it online. It is pretty nifty, though. I thought the chamber was swelled. But it's swelled, but I mean, like, the whole tube. Yeah, but those are a pain in the dick. That little tiny one that you have that's like that, holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky if you can even smoke out of it half the time. To be fair, this predates that tiny swelled uh, chillum. So... Because that was one of my Christmas presents. Yeesh. Yeesh. What are you doing? Uh, there's a big piece of goober <laughs> right, right at the entrance <coughs> that I'm not looking to eat. <coughs> there, now it's gone, so now I can now hit it. Will you tell me all about Jack here today? I was talking. I have a nice little list for you. A nice list of Jack here. We've talked about Jack here and how much we've liked it a few times. Oh, let him's me get dangerous. this. Let me get this chocolate out of my mouth so that <laughs> I can talk normal. Worst timing ever. I know. You, you caught me with my pants down. It's all right. I like to <laughs> do the catch. <laughs> no, as soon as I oh, started to say that, I was like, oh, oh no, oh, no. <laughs> just no. Is there something I need to know? No. Uh, no. Uh, I'm I'm I was more so. I like to tonight. catch him when he's not ready, and uh, he definitely threw a different set of words out there. That I was like, "Oh, but rewind to forget that." Right backwards. <laughs> back it up. Back I it already up. started that because I thought he said that he always catches me off guard, and then I my pants out. down came out, and I was like, "Oh, gold." No, nope, no. Nope. So, so let's start off with some Jack here talk of their siblings. So, let's start off with number 10, like you normally do on these top 10 lists, so. Sure, sure. So, number 10 is Jack 47. Now, it also says it's auto-flowering. Okay. That's something I feel like you would know more about, because that's more of a growing thing. Like, I don't Okay, so an auto-flower means that, more or less, you just leave the lights on, and you feed it, and it grows within a couple, like, it's like an 8 to 10 week grow. Uh, you get smaller yields on it. It's usually an inside grow. Okay. Um, it's just one of those things that's for, like, it's like an apartment grow. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I wasn't too sure on that, but I felt it was, like, just something that you just grew in it, just fucking flowers itself. and just... It does. Uh, normal weed, you have to uh, change the lighting cycle on it mm -hmm. for it to go into what's called a photo phase, and that's when it will flower. And then when it flowers, you have to wait until your trichomes are the right consistency of what you're looking for. Uh, like, if you want really, like, uppity weed to get you going up and, like, concentrating, you want your trichomes to just be done getting formed and s not really starting to get cloudy yet, but looking like little tiny mushrooms everywhere, like, nice size. Uh, then there's phase two of it, which is uh, where we want, usually. It helps you relax more so. 
Mm-hmm. Doesn't usually put you to bed quite quite yet, kind of thing, but it will help you go to bed, that kind of thing. Um, and then there's phase three where they actually amber out. They turn brown, and when you get that, then it's like nighttime. Like, you just go to bed. See, that's what Don't I they, like. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we like that, too, but at the same time, like, I like to just relax for now, a while and not just be melted and sleeping. Instantly. No, I like, like the I melted like to, and sleeping. Like I, we, I don't feel like we've had a weed of melted and sleeping in a while. Like I like to just ride a nice little melt. <clears throat> now for the phase three, you said it gets all like amber, amber. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Now is that the that's what they would use to squeeze to make uh, wax? I don't know exactly how they make wax. I've never really looked into it yet. All I know I is there's like that a drying process. And then you just put it in a press and just squeeze the ever-living shit out of it and you get wax. Hmm. It's, well, it's like when you have fresh blood, it's it's sticky. Yeah. You're supposed to wear gloves when cutting leaves and when you're, like, harvesting. Well, I didn't know if, like, phase three added more sticky to um, it. Or... It's actually after the sun has burnt the trichomes. Okay. And they're kind of lazy is what it is. It turns, it turns you, like, lazy. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> that's what I'm told anyways. Like, that's on my, all my research... More or less says, if you want an upper, you cut it early. You wait until it's fully grown if you want, just relaxing and help you kind of sleep a little bit. And then if you want to just melt and be lazy and sleep instantly, then you want to let it get ambered. Okay, okay. So, back to our little list here, because I, I, that's actually nice to know, because it's, I think it's on this list a couple more times. So that's actually a nice little detail to add. Um, the parents for Jack 47 <laughs> would be Jack here, obviously. And AK-47. And AK-47. Nice. But it also has a side parent of Ruder Alice. What? R-U-D-E-R-A-L-I-S. Ruder Alice. <laughs> That's a fuck of a word. Okay. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, I figured the AK forty seven would be in there. Oh, definitely. A lot of forty seven. Well, it's an older, it's an older uh, strain. I mean, it's been around since the nineties. I know. I've definitely heard a lot of older. Definitely, people. definitely. OG forty seven is like, or a, OG AK is like definitely, like, what is it? I don't know. I know it was like from the eighties though. Yeah, a lot of old, old timeies. This smoked back then. Used to smoke AK. All right. So, number nine, we have, uh, shocking, Jack Herrer, but it's the auto-flowering. Okay. So that's why we, I'm glad we actually just talked about it, because it's on here again. It's going to so, be less potent. It's than definitely going to be less potent than if you were actually making, you know, Jack Herrer. But it's also bred with that same, uh, Ruder Alice. Hmm. So, Ruder blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes. Some bullshit. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't do this part because they wouldn't know what half the shit I was talking about. Was. Yeah, because she's go blah, 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 to everything. So number eight, we have Jackie White. Okay. Jackie White is mixed with Jack <coughs> and White Widow. I figured that's probably a really decent high right there. Oh, that's I could again. imagine White Widow's pretty fucking. Oh decent. yeah, we've had it a couple times. Number seven, we have Gypsy Hayes. Would you like to take a stab at the parents besides, you know, Jack here? There's two. Um, probably it's either Purple Haze or just Haze alone. Um, I've heard Gypsy a couple places, but I can't put my finger on what it would be. Um, I've heard of, like, Gypsy Pocket. I've heard of another one, too. I can't think of what it's called. So, those are good guesses, but it's actually Space Bomb. Because you get Gypsy Haze, Space Bomb, and Black Domania. So, I don't know the Black Domania. That one I actually haven't heard of, so. And speaking of another one, we have, uh, I'm just going to just take a stab at this. Toxamango? Let me see. All right. Tuxamango. <laughs> Tuxamango. Maybe Tuxamango? T-X-O Mango. It's empty. Dead. It's dead. Dead. First one's down. So, Tuxa Mango, we have Korean Big Skunk, Super Skunk, and Jack Ear. 
So that's uh, probably from Korean Suicide and Skunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably what made a Korean Big Skunk. That's funny. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Korean Suicide? No, actually. I've definitely heard of it, and I hear it is really intense. This one I feel like you're going to be able to guess as well. Number five, Jack Diesel. So it would probably be Sour Diesel or just Diesel alone. New York City Diesel. For some reason, like, Sour Diesel is the parent strain to a lot of fucking shit. Oh, Let's yeah. be honest. Oh, here. yeah. So, oh, here comes the entourage of cars. Oh, oh, just two tonight. A whole bunch of cars. Last night, there was like 15 of them in a row. I'm like, oh, it must be. <laughs> that's the uh, fair getting out. Right. But At no. least it's not right now. I mean, we'd have like all them. Oh, the seriously, like earlier, like it was like, I don't know, probably 10 o'clock yesterday. Just fucking a whole line of them. Like, <laughs> Holy fuck. There's never that many cars at once. Wow. Motorcycles, sometimes. Big old traffic jam. <laughs> but like, I was like, what the fuck is this? Grand Central Station? So, number four, we have some Critical Jack. Okay. It's Critical Plus and Jack. Which we've talked about we've on a couple of these. We've talked about both of these. So, number three, we have some Galactic Jack. Galactic Jack is mixed with some Space Queen and Jack. I waiting for you to say Spaceballs. I don't know why. Ah, it would have been a great strand if it was. <laughs> I'd try some Spaceballs. <laughs> All I can think of is a scene in Paul. Okay, so Spaceballs is actually a movie that's a spoof off of Star Wars. Yes. Okay. But also... Space man balls, yeah. Yeah, that's all I could think of when you were talking about. about this, and I was like, oh god. So, fun fact about this uh, current strand, the uh, space... Space balls? No, not <laughs> space balls. <laughs> the Galactic Jack. Um, it is of the highest of the THC ratings on this list. Wow. So, it is 20 like, to 25% THC. Damn, that's what, I was going to guess it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You missed okay. it. Well, would you like to guess? No, thank you. <laughs> that was my hand. That moment is over. <laughs> Somebody's ADHD is showing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Where'd it go? Number uh, two, right Blackjack. Jack here, Black Domania. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And number one, we have Jack Flash 5. <laughs> Jack oh, Flash okay. 5. Okay. Its parents are Jack. Super Skunk and Haze. With parents like that, it's no wonder it's number one on this list. <laughs> right. That'd be a fun one to try. Yeah, what'd you say that's called again? Jack. Jack Flash 5. We'll have to look into it someday. Yes. It also looks like a very beautiful plant. Like, oh. oh. It's really green. Yeah, really green. Big old buds on it. Like, like really green. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Pretty. It almost looks like it's pastelli greens instead. Right, right. And anything that is that bright, bright green is usually retarded. <laughs> like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that. Just like, some nice little soft greens right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like what we got right now is pretty fucking green. Like. Oh, so bad. But that stuff, I've seen some strands where it looks like it's actually glowing green. Like as you're holding it, it's. Ret- Parted. I like uh, Fruity Pebbles or whatever it is. They're just insane looking in color. I also need to stop saying that word because it's what? frowned upon. What? Retarded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a, a Facebook argument with somebody today and I called them a libtard. Nice. And oh my. I, I was being their, too mean for people. I called their cousin stupid. <laughs> I'm Fine. sorry, but like, if you're liberal enough to the point where... You don't look at the other side of a debate whatsoever and won't argue that side of the debate because it's not your side. Then I'm sorry, but you're a libtard. That's all there is to it. Like, if you're going to debate, debate the whole conversation. Right. Not just half of it, which is your half that you want to argue. Sorry, argue the whole thing. Me and Mel both were debate like, in a pretty heated debate with somebody. And, like... I had two I had two comments in there and then she threw a comment in and then this lady threw a comment in. And we both threw a comment back and then they deleted all of our shit because we're being too mean. Nice. But this girl only will comment on her half of, de- of a debate. Or she'll twist what you say or only pull certain pieces out of context 
and and won't in recognize. That, yeah, the rest of how it was said. Hmm. And I'm like, I literally said, I'm sorry. Did you not read what I wrote? Did you not see this statement and this statement? Or are you just stupid? They're picking and choosing. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't have like what they're going to retort back against. So I'm like, you're, you're not, not going to fight the whole thing. Yeah. Hmm. If you're just going to fight your side of the battle and not the whole spectrum. This is why I try not to post many political memes on my page. I think I was just in the mood to fight today. Yeah. I think today was one of those days because like, I like to poke and prod at people. I, I felt it. Like I was on GTA all day, and I was like, I want to blow some bitches up. Like, like I've been really sick the last few days, like just miserable. And today, I finally feel a little bit better. And so I'm like, yes, let's fight somebody today. <laughs> I like to just get people riled up and pissed off, and then just show how stupid people or they are to the world. I'm like, okay. It's fine. Yeah, the original poster demanded apologies, and I'm like, I ain't apologizing. Are you fucking serious? Like, I'm fine with you and whatnot, but... You're a good dude. He's a nice guy, but... He's it's... definitely liberal. I mean, but I have nothing against anyone that's liberal. Just if you're liberal to the point where you literally won't look at any other part of any side ever. Just what you want to hear. So, some advice... I'm going to say some mini advice of the night. Okay. Not, is, um... You can also admit you're wrong. Right. Like, you can sit there and, like, yeah, like, I'm going to sit here and, like, look at our current president. I honestly think he is the biggest joke that we have had. Oh, for sure. Nobody in the world takes him seriously. They're like, we got four more years of this. And I'm I'm just, like, I don't know. I just grit and bear with it. Like I, uh, Every time I see anything of him trying to talk to anybody about anything, he stumbles. has no idea what he's doing. He's just a puppet. Yeah. That's all he is. He doesn't is. even know what he's saying half the time. He doesn't even know what he's talking, talking about. about. No. He is not mentally fit to be president, but good lord, we don't need Harris and Pelosi running this country either for fuck's sake. It's because... I also want to take a stab and say... Um, Look at our house. I think it's time for the older generation to quote the fuck off. Your political. I think what they need to do is put terms on it. every position, just like governor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. know they should put every governor should have a term limit, just like there's a president term yeah. limit, and all the justices, and all the House representatives, and all of the Congress Senate, Congress and Senate, everybody. You know, everybody. every state has their like, own House and their own Senate, right? Fucking, like Congress and it? Senate. Ju- judicial judges and whatnot, like Super, Supreme Supreme, Supreme Court, Court yeah. uh, judges and all that, they have terms. <coughs> like, fuck, they, they have to be voted back into yeah, their they have to be voted office. Back in. Yeah, but, but they still have to. They still have to take off before getting voted up. No. No? no, no, I didn't know that. No, the one that just died was on there for like forty six years yeah. or something Jesus like that. Fuck. The she was the first Jewish woman to ever be a uh, Supreme Court. Justice. She was the first Jewish person and the first woman. Hmm. That's cool. But it was like in like sixty three she got in there or something and that she just a died a couple then. years ago. Wow. Yeah. Sixty or seventies. I mean, I was like, holy That's fuck. a big deal then. And that's right. the thing, is like last that that generation that's in Congress right now, like <clears throat> my problem with it <clears throat> is they're not progressive. Like anything, like Look at medical marijuana. Like, it has been a stalemate and a fight with everybody. And it's been a fight so long. And they need more fucking testing and whatnot to regulate it. So they could be like, oh yeah, we can do medical, whatever. Or just fucking let it be recreational. You know, let us fuck ourselves up like alcohol, you know. Whatever. You know. But I just... If we put more people of our age in there. Or not even our age. Like, even just 10 years older than us, or whatever. I just they to... feel like, oh, you know, it'd be a smart idea. We can make taxes if we just sold weed. Like, make money off taxes. Look at Colorado. They've made so much money. The reason why they won't do it in Pennsylvania is because they have 400,000 cardholders out of 12 million. So, when they look at that, you have to think that's one-fourth, or four-tenths of a million, so, like, three percent well, of the population do it. or something like that has a card. 
and then they have to pay to keep their card, and they have to pay an ass load to get anything out of, like, a legal... Yeah, but if they did it recreationally, they'd make a buttload more, because... And if you had a card, you'd just be exempt from taxes, or being taxed on it. And that's where the money would be made, is it'd be, like, jacking up... Like, a dime bag's gonna be 20 bucks, like, fuck. Well, once they make it recreational, it won't be. Well, not that bad, but, like, still... It actually goes down in price once it's recreational. Hmm. Still. Like in Vegas, you can buy... I have a buddy that lived in Vegas for a long time. He said you could buy a pound for like 700 bucks. Not bad. In Vegas. That's cheap as fuck. A pound in Pennsylvania is over five grand. At $40 an eighth. Hmm. Or a cut, whatever you want to call it. (laughs) True. That's like one-tenth the price almost. Hmm. But... I don't know. I get so tired of just, like... In the generation that's in there right now, the majority of them are old as fuck. Yeah. And they want to live, like, old as fuck. The problem is, is... They won't raise minimum wage or just quit raising everything else. Like, as they raise everything else, they leave minimum wage the same. And then people bitch and moan. Do I think minimum wage could be $15 an hour? Sure. If they don't raise everything else, yeah, and they give everyone that's in that middle shot right now that is making fifteen dollars an hour, like twenty twenty one, and just be done with it, like give everyone a nice raise, and be done with it, and don't raise your fucking prices like immensely, like what they have over the last twenty years, twenty five, thirty years. Fucking used cars right now are ridiculously priced. Like everything is houses, like. <coughs> They're all like, oh, yeah, houses are... Right now, it's the time to uh, sell Sell. your house. It's expensive as fuck to buy a house. Yep. It's because everyone's losing their houses and shit. Yep. That's crazy. I don't know. Got some questions for us? Yeah, I don't like politics. I don't either. I get too heated. I don't like to get on politics too much when we're on here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I try not... Uh, All right, I got so, my soapbox. Anyway. If you could go back in time and change one thing, one thing only, what would it be? Oof. Can I... Uh, I'd say two box life. No. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, um, do I get a freebie if I take a time back and shoot Hitler while, while I have a, ch- a chance? <laughs> I mean, if that's the one per- one thing you're going to do, go for it. Me personally, I'm going to tell Steve Irwin not to go swim with that stingray. <laughs> I'm going to tell that stingray that Steve's chill. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> I have more hope that Steve would listen over the stingray. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> um, I'm a wild thornberry is that shit. I fucking wish. <sighs> Don't get her started. Don't even get her started. <laughs> oh, God. She already talks to all the animals as if they are talking back to her. I wish they could answer me. It'd be so cool. Uh, uh, but, they talk. Uh, they do talk if you watch them. <laughs> I mean, That's the, somebody the, who talks to the animals. The dogs though. and the cat does. The snakes and the beardy, not so much. They look at me when I talk to them. They the more you me. talk to them, the more they'll understand. They, they talk to me. It's like any dog. you got to train That's, the dog. Like when I get Terry out, she hugs me. She misses me. Except the other night, she bit me. She did not miss me. She was that does not sound like she missed you at all. <laughs> no. They were best friends the other day. I'm sorry, yeah. I bit you. She's a bitch. She's my bitch, but she's a bitch. <laughs> okay, so if I could change one thing. I know, I'm still thinking I'm about I'm still it. trying to think about that because, like,. Yeah, Hitler, that's cool, but that's, you know, that's just a thing. I knew exactly what mine was as soon as I read the question. Mm. Mm. I have a hard time with this kind of thing, because there's, like, so much shit in history. Yeah, I could sit there and be like, I could change what I've done. Mm -hmm. I could sit there and be like, I could change a point of history. I don't know. It's hard to say, because I kind of live in the moment and, and in the future, like, yeah. Like, usually in my head, I'm thinking about the future plans, not my past plans. Or it's like, like, I hate thinking about the past because literally from the time I was, like, 20, well, like, 19 to, like, 24, I kind of just fucked off. I feel like if I could change one thing, I'd tell 18-year-old myself to not fuck around as much. 
Well, like, I think I would have told myself, like, buy a fucking house. Yeah, that's another thing like, I would have told myself. Nobody told me that buying a house was easy. Like, once you get the actual house, then it's cheaper than rent is and shit. I would have made sure I invested in... Except for my in, house, because it's expensive as fuck. I would have made sure I invested in Netflix, because I was thinking about it in 2009, and I didn't. Right? There you go. I would have told myself to buy into Ford with my dad when I was 18, and he offered me $2,000 cash or $2,000 worth of Ford stocks at $1.43. Because he turned out selling them at over $30 a share, like $28 a share, something like that. It was something astronomical. And he turned like ten grand into like 140 Like, I definitely wish... Oh, man. You're so far behind. I was waiting on one of you guys. I was going to, but I was trying to think of what kind of game I wanted to play. His, his brain's trying to come up with too many things at once. Right now we're talking about... Well, I was trying to think of a game, too, on top of, like... But I probably would have done that. I would have chosen to just been like, I will give you the $2,000 to buy Ford stocks. Because Invest I in yourself. Ooh. Take money that you spent and actually... Well, I spent it on college. Have. I actually spent it on college. Like, on my <laughs> tuition. <coughs> so I, I did use it for, like, something I was going to have to pay for. <coughs> I didn't just fuck off with it. Right. <laughs> but I thought it was more like it was going to be a good idea. This is towards my current college situation, and instead I should have just gave it to my dad for like four years. <coughs> by the time I was twenty three, I would have had like forty grand. <coughs> right. I think by the time I was twenty five, I'd have. Uh... I would have turned a thousand dollars into fifty grand, <coughs> right? <coughs> but you can't live in like the past. That's the reason why I live in my future. <coughs> Next question. <coughs> God damn! This thing's dying. What the it's fuck, a man? murder weapon. It's the Russian murder weapon. If you could switch genders for a length of time of your choosing, would you? And if so, for how long? Sure. Sure. I'd I'd sure give it a fucking go. would. I'd give it For a like go. For like three days. Give me like you know, three days. You know what she would do? The helicopter did yeah, the she, I would. Would. She'd be that fucking elephant. They I always would. Have the fucking, yeah, the fucking trunk that's going. You yeah, that'd be her. You'd be I would. <coughs> <coughs> I'd be like, woo, look at this. Yeah, I, I'd be all right with switching. I'd just to it. check it out. Yeah. For how long? I don't know, like a week. That's a long time. A fucking week. I know she was going to uh, Yeah, uh, like a week. I'd give it a week. You know? Oh, no, I'm saying, like, three days, and then I want my shit back. No, see, I just want to switch with Mal. That, that would be what I would want to do. Just switch with Mal. Then I could get laid a lot in a week, and it wouldn't be, like, a bad weird. thing. Yeah, or weird. Yeah, no. Be like, oh, I'm with you. Like, I wouldn't want to, like, just I'm be not gonna a go. random girl for a he's not gonna get a it. He's not going to get a train honest. ran on him while he's a girl. <laughs> like, let's be straight here. Like, if I got a random girl, <laughs> I'd be the smuttiest girl for a week, because I'd be like, let's try this shit out. Cause it seems Look, so much I want to do men. that thing where my legs like this, and I want to do that thing where my really legs like this. Girl. Just give it a go. I want to do that you, thing no, where I kiss my own girl. pelvic bone. Because you don't get to play with some random girl, even if you are that random girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> if if I did it, I just want to switch with you. That's much better. So That's what I hand. said. That's what I said. Because let's be honest, if it was some random girl, it just be. <laughs> Just wouldn't be good. It would just be death upon you and said random girl. That's all. Anything else, anything else to say about uh, being a female? I'd do it for probably a week. Unless, like... It was period know. week, then you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, oh, I got my period. Oh, no. I think you guys should have to experience at least, like, if you're doing it for a week, like, no, two. I would say, like, two days <laughs> out of seven. Out of a week? That's a big waste <sighs> of my time of it. Like, come on now. Welcome to our fucking life, sir. Yeah, but you guys get to have the way better orgasms than we do. You can tell. You can enjoy them for five days. <laughs> <laughs> because a man does not make that much noise. Never. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. It doesn't Unless happen. you want us to sound like a... <laughs> no, listen. I had, baby I had a dude that used to bark. Okay. What the fuck? We had sex twice, and I couldn't handle it. 
<laughs> I'm surprised she got it the second time. I'm like, whoa. I was really drunk. <laughs> it was the night I got naked in the bar. Oh, okay. That dude. Yeah, I couldn't handle that. She's Find hanging the out with that... the dude, and it's her 20th birthday, and he's just like, yeah, you can get naked and dance on the bar and let everyone sign you. I woke up in the morning, it had Sharpie signatures from my forehead to my toes <laughs> in every place imaginable, and I was like, holy shit. And he gave me permission to do so, because when I'm really trash, I ask permission to do everything. And I rely on who I'm with to tell me no, when it's a bad decision, Okay. Depending on what it was, I would not let my wife get naked at a bar. Though. No. I'm just saying. Like, I trust him to not let me do something. Like, if shit. she was like, can I suck your dick in a coat rack? I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but, let's, <laughs> but, like, if she was like, I'm getting naked on the bar, I'm like, ah, oh, bitch, you sit right There's here. There's too many eyes. <laughs> you keep your, fa- your shit on and sit right here. <laughs> yeah. There's a difference between up there and over there. <laughs> now, I just want to say, I never call my wife a bitch. I'm just saying. Mm-mm. It was just me being a smart ass. No, never, never. I don't want anyone to take the bad, like, a uh, bad thing. I don't... Right, not right. One, In like, the <clears throat> six years we've been together, not one time out of anger has he ever called me a name. Ever. No. Not one time. No. So, no. But, I've said she's acting like a bitch before. Yeah. Because There's a difference than calling her straight right. up a bitch. I'm like, why are you acting like a bitch about things? You need to chill. Like, and that was like once or twice that's happened in extreme cases. And I was being very over the top of and these cases. And she knows she was being very petty and crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Because I know that that's how I is. That's an Aries thing. Yeah, well, when you mix a Scorpio into it, it's like extra fun. Well, you know, I'd understand there's a that. reason why she's getting Psycho tattooed across her knuckles. Yeah. I didn't ask her to do that. That was her <laughs> own fucking choice. She knows. Okay, she knows. Fully aware. She knows she can be <coughs> in the ass about shit. Trust me, she knows. I ain't gotta tell her either. <laughs> like, the other day somebody pissed me off, and I'm like, I just need to not talk to them right now because I'm being angry and petty and dumb, and I will say some shit I don't mean. I don't need to see them <coughs> Oh, he heard days. the story earlier. I've heard the story. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, so I let it cool down for a couple days and let myself not be petty. Understandable. I, it's funny, I'm not even sure how it got brought up on the way here, but it did. That's and funny. we were talking about it. Well, I knew I was being petty and angry, but I was still petty and angry. But I knew I, I was, so, how, like, but... I'm like, this is a bad situation, let's not, let's not do that. That'll just Like, just leave problems. me be for a couple of days. Yep. Let me be petty and pissy for a minute. Most it of the happens. time, when that's... she's being like that, I just leave her be. Here's the thing, right. that's the biggest yeah. thing about Aries. I've noticed out of every Aries I've ran into, we have anger issues, to a degree, and if we get pissed off, we can be very stubborn. <coughs> so, uh, case in point, we will just take a moment, walk away. If we come back, we're sorry. If we don't come back, we're still pissed off. <laughs> yeah. That's a easy Aries 101 right there. <laughs> Yeah, but some, here's the problem, though, is sometimes I come back because, all right, you want to fight, motherfucker, let's fight. Those are and very then... <laughs> early coming backs. <laughs> That's not like we're going to come back three days later and be like, all right, let's do this, unless it was, like, big. Oh, she likes to stir. Like, oh, she likes to sit and stir speak. about shit. Oh, I'm like, I, I try not to you stir need to pie. chill out. No, she just, like, sit and stirs about it. Like, like sometimes just, I really do sit and stew really hard yeah, about Yeah, she just things. sits and just, like, stirs around in her head and just gets all more pissed off. I'm like, knock it off! Quit. I, as an Aquarius, I'm not so petty. No, you're not. You're very flowing because you I'm, like the water flowing up the stream. But, like, I... Ways in the moment. I like to argue. That's for sure. Like I like to, and I'm good at it. He's just a fish that bites. <laughs> yeah. He's like a piranha. Nah, nah. They're from the Amazon. I'm from the Amazon. Arr, arr. Um, no. Um, but at the same time, like when I'm pissed off, you know I'm pissed off. It's very likely, e- like very easy to know. Like we yeah. went to this uh, party a couple of weekends ago. They had a bouncy house. And these three kids, it was just the other boy by himself in this bouncy house with three children of this one man. Um, so <laughs> they're all bouncing around, pushing each other around. I'm like, all right, whatever. They're wrestling, whatever. I don't care. They're, they're, they're all boys. They're laughing and having fun. Yeah, Nobody's they're all boys. Hurt. So then the three boys all get around the other boy and start pushing them all together. And I was like, and their dad sat right there watching it. Let it happen. 
Hmm. So I was like, oh, Then they okay. pushed him down. Yeah, and they, they pushed him down, and the, yeah, they were being little assholes. Yeah. So I got up, and I walked over, and I said, that's, I don't think this one's a very fair little situation, is it? I was like, being that you're all seven to nine years old, and the other boy's four. Yeah. But he's the same size as them, because they're tiny. And he's massive. And Yeah, and he's <laughs> massive. So, like, I okay, whatever. And I was like, that'll be enough for that. I was like, because... Y'all need to stop your shit. I was like, and you over there just watching your fucking kids be assholes. You need to, you know, stop your kids when they're jumping a kid. Like, just jumping on him, literally. Like, you need to, like... And he just, like, looked at me. And I was like... Like, the next time... go? If I have a a problem, the next time, I will make sure your ass is leaving. Because I'll boot your ass out, like, myself. I'll take you, and I'll take you and your three asshole kids out by myself. I I'll do care. this stand style, rip my shirt off. Yourself. We're gonna do this. I thought this was fucking America. You I'm just one of those people, though. Like I was just pissed. I'm like, like don't fuck with me. You wouldn't have done it by yourself, though. No, I. Know. You know that your wife would have been two steps right directly behind you. No, I know. But like, I just I'm the worst person. If you stay here and I'm gonna go deal with some shit, I'm like, okay, yeah, right. I don't know. Just saying. The other day, he had me good and pissed. And usually, you can tell when I'm good and pissed. It doesn't take much. Yeah, you get red in the face. And his hands get cold. I'm already red <laughs> in the face, because I have Rosacea. No, show. it doesn't matter how hot it is. His hands will turn ice cold when he's you, living. You get, like, more red in the face. I've seen you pissed maybe a few times, but you get more red in the face, definitely, when you're really pissed. Right. A lot of times, I just kind of get, ang- like, a little irritated, rather than, like, getting really pissed. Just because, like, I don't like being really pissed because my brain's an asshole yeah. so and it's hard for me I to control it i hate being really pissed too but man people are really good at pissing me off <laughs> oh. that is life <laughs> people right. are assholes i know yes. oh, i'm an like asshole you're an boy? asshole you're an asshole we all assholes the boy's favorite thing to do is push my buttons until i lose my shit I he's swear. an asshole <laughs> i'm a dude She's a dude. He's We're a Virgo. Dudes. Hey. Um, what? He, oh, yeah, Virgo. he is a Virgo. So, yeah, uh, I, I don't even want to get into that. We're red barring here. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, they're not. They're not very. Uh, they're, they're uh, I don't even know how to explain it. They're, they're, they're a sign. They're a sign they're, that you talk about. <laughs> like Virgos are good people. They are. They're not bad. They're just They're, they're all broken. That's and, the easiest way to explain and them. And they really like to poke and prod sometimes and just just cuz they can. Yeah. Like they really like to push people's buttons sometimes just to see what happens. Aquarius. They're very they're <laughs> Yeah. The difference but, is is like with Aquarius is it's like not people they know. It's not people they know. It doesn't not get usually. annoying. It's like it's easy to tolerate. Virgos like to go keep going and keep going. They don't know when to stop. Yeah. Little chip. Hence the boy. They keep doing the same thing and over and Miff over. And is Miffin there too even. or is that the other end of September? The other end of September is... Is it the beginning of September or is it the end of September? Oh, Virgo. That Virgos are. Because the boy is the 13th so he's like towards the middle. So I'm trying I to remember. I'm trying to remember or... my fucking. What are the dates for Virgo? According to Britannica, in astrology, Virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac, considered as governing the period from about August 23rd to about September Beginning. 22nd. It is represent. There you go. Okay, and then so it goes then into that's Leo. what Myth is too. Is Virgo? That's why Myth and I butt heads then sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> explains a whole fucking lot. Yeah. That's funny. He don't bother me. Because I love the shit out of him. He don't poke me. He don't poke me. So, no, because you know he's gonna, but... you're gonna poke him back, and you're probably better at poking him than he is poking you. Well, that's because his... phrasing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure someday Miff and I'll probably have a fight, fight, and then we'll both get over it, and we'll feel better, and we'll be fine. Because that's the kind of people we are. Me and him He's have going to be the times. reason you guys get over it. I'm going to yeah. say that right Yeah, now. because oh, yeah. you know what? That's his best friend. I don't want to come between that. 
I have zero desire to do that. Right. Right. I feel like, uh, like when it comes to myth, sometimes, like he doesn't take other people into consideration. Is like Mal's big issue. Like, like he doesn't take shit with me in consideration, or like with her on shit. Like I think that's just like what the issue is there. You know what I mean? And eventually she's gonna let him know about it. I'm sure of it. And that'll be when they fight. You know what I mean? But Probably. me and him had it out like a year and a half ago. After, like, right before, a little while before we were done with the radio uh, show and stuff. And, like, he got over it. I was just like, alright, cool. But, like, I just told him, I was like, I want you to do your half about shit. Like, I don't want to be doing everything myself. Like, we did this together, let's do it together. Right. And, like, we had it out about it. After that, he started doing more shit and, like, it was fine. Alright, cool. We'll just, have it out and then him and I will we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Right. We'll be all right. As long as it's after this weekend. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not poking, not trying to fight with him. No, I know. And, and you're not going to fight with him this weekend. No. <laughs> no, no. He'll be with me all weekend. He is odds problem. <laughs> he don't bother me any. However, P.S., his wife only just found out, like, yesterday, or the day before, about why I was pissed at Miff. <laughs> he never told her. She didn't even know what any of it happened, and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so she was livid, and I'm like, it's fine, we're good. And she goes, I know, but I'd have been pissed too, just so you know. I'm like, you don't don't say anything. She's like, I'm not going to get on his ass or nothing. I'm like, okay, because it's done, it's over with, it's fine. I didn't know you didn't know. She could be quite the ass pain. Of all things. Pain. Like, <laughs> not well, not my kind of woman that I would be married to. I love not that I don't like her because I really like her as a person, but I couldn't deal with her all the time, kind of thing. I tell you what, though, she's a sweetheart too, though, because I my coffee pot broke like two weeks ago. I haven't had coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay, Pepsi's become my real good BFF now, and she found one. <laughs> She found one uh, <laughs> on sale at Walmart. And so she bought it for me and dropped it off while Aww. I was sick. She's like, I got you a coffee pot because there's no way I could go two weeks without coffee. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it, so here's a coffee pot. Aww. So, like, she's a super, super sweet person. But her and... Ha-ha! <laughs> I only won because <laughs> my hands are I in my s- pocket. I sat there forever. <laughs> like she's telling this whole story. Yeah, about, I'm listening to this whole story. I'm and I'm her, like, her my hands life. are in my pocket. I'm like, ah. Oh. But like, they just butt heads really bad. Is the problem? I think they both just are too stubborn and they just fight too much. That's all. I it, I think they just kind of bring out the worst in each other for each other. So he likes bitchy women. <laughs> He does. He likes bitchy women. It's first wife's bitchy as fuck. Yeah. Until he's tired of them. Then he's just like, Gah, girl face, girl fuck. And that's how he is. And then they fight because he's like that. Because she, like, pokes at him. And then he pokes at her. And then he gets pissed. Because he just... That's just how he is. Like... Yeah. It's just... You gotta know how he is about things. So, like... Them going back and forth, eventually he gets pissed and goes, grr face, grr fuck. And the problem is that when she's not being bitchy, then he picks a fight. <laughs> so that she is being bitchy. And then he bitches because she's bitchy, and she's like, quit picking fights with me. Yeah, it's, it's a full-on uh, circle. Like, she'll be, they'll be having a great day together, and all of a sudden they're fighting because he just started picking at her and picking a fight. Like, just... I, I don't know. Or it's like something will cycle. be something will be bothering her, and she doesn't like to let shit go until she's satisfied. So until she's satisfied with that argument, she's gonna keep pressing it throughout the day, and then he gets pissed about it. Okay, but this that's the very thing because that's how I am do with you. <laughs> until we resolve that, I'm pushing and pushing and pushing and pers- pushing all the time. I want to talk about it until we figure it out. <laughs> <coughs> I know, I forgot how rough Calypso is. Because uh, <coughs> she's so big. She has a huge <coughs> chamber. Huge chambers. My bad. 
That I, think, like, <coughs> I think we made poor life choices deciding to start <coughs> Calypso and Daria back to back. <laughs> I wasn't the one who picked. I, I was going to say, clothes. Red is the one that went first <coughs> to first ones on the first thing, so it's his fault. Uh, <laughs> I think he got tired but of waiting on that. I again, was uh, tired of waiting. Then, his, then again, his Russian murder machine over there, yeah, that's yeah. what he calls it or whatever, something along the lines. It's the Russian murder weapon. Can we name that one Red Rum? It, it looks like a murder pipe. That's the reason why he you calls know, it the Russian call, murder pipe. I got it from the Russian, and it was his murder weapon, because it just looks like he murdered someone with a yeah. pipe. It's funny. Um, I miss the Russian. He doesn't hasn't come to see us. Because he he get, I get a hold of him on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays? Yeah. That's his tea partner on Tuesdays, is the that, Russian. That's his days off. I it's miss the Russian because he's not at Walmart anymore when I nope. go once a week. I saw him walking the other day. He works at McDonald's again. Yeah, he okay, walked well, I don't by go my there because they fuck our shit up too much. No, it's my turn. I say, I don't remember. Is that my turn? No, no it's not. we switched the way it went. I gotcha. Okay. Because you won this time. Yes. That's why I was like, no. Oh, you're right. And you started it. I started it. Me, 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 me. Rody. You know yeah. what else you should expect? What? Your daughter and I fighting real good when she's a teenager. Aries and Aries. And we're both April Aries, so we're not going to get along for fuck. No. Nope. I'm scared. Because your daughter already, like, today goes, No, Mom! Did you catch that today, by the no, way? No. We were both sitting here on the porch. That's why I sent her to her room. Oh. I got you. When you got up. And was bitching in the window, you mean? Yeah! Yeah, see, I didn't hear what she said because you were bitching in the window. Oh, well, she... I You're louder than she is. This loud because she's little. Okay, well... <laughs> I told them to do something. Oh, pick up their shit. No, it wasn't pick up their shit because I would have sent her to a room. No, you told... Oh, I told you them to telling... be nice to each other because yeah. they were fighting. Her and the other boy. Yes, and I'm like, just be nice to each other. No, Mom! Excuse the fuck out of you. Pardon me. Did, did, did you just did you just try that at three? Like, pardon my French, but what in the H E double fuck was that nonsense? The first time the Aries says no, <laughs> that's what happens. Usually, she puts her hand on her hip when she does it, and I'm like, little girl, we'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, she's way too cute. She really is. I have a hard time like when she's being serious. And, oh, man. It she's just makes a, me giggle, because she's just funny. She, oh, this little girl. She's just too <laughs> adorable. She really is. Her and her little glasses. Like, when I'm ready to square up with her, he's sitting over there giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> because they're just funny to hear them two fighting. It's just funny to me. <laughs> just, oh, I'm sure when she's, like, 15 and, you know. That'll still be the favorite, so see? <laughs> You'll be the asshole because you'll be fighting with her all the time, and I'll be the favorite, so it's fine with me. That's how it worked in my family. <laughs> currently, currently, uh, both boys uh, favor Mal over me. Yeah. The only child I get is the baby, so it's fine with me. I'll take the baby. We've all become a family of turkeys as of today, by the way. <laughs> oh, I have a video to show you. Yeah. Of okay. the baby and the other boy going. You're a turkey! No, you're a turkey! Yeah. And just saying it to Mal <laughs> and me. Yeah. It's pretty funny. And of course, like, how they say it. Oh my god. Because she says turkey. So she's like, really, turkey. Like, just really, really, really aggressively. Yeah, oh my god. it's so funny. And her cute little girl voice, and in in it's such an aggressive turkey from a little girl. He's a turkey. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god, I love it. She's oh hilarious. My god. And the other boy was getting tired, so he was getting squirrely oh as God. fuck. I know. I'm I need to fucking die quiet right here. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know if you saw that fucking. All of a sudden it was white. I was like, oh God. <coughs> I've been saying he was trying to die quietly. I'm like, oh God. Turkeys. I'm putting it out, guys. <laughs> when I hit that, it was like, I was like, oh man. And I let it out, and it was like, it was a huge cloud, and you get to see Red's eyes get a little big, like, oh, fuck, that was a cloud. And to see my eyes, I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to start coughing. That's okay. Feel the burn. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had a burn that bad off of just green. Ugh. 
Not like hitting dabs. Right. Dabs you get the burn. But Well, I'm gonna set it here because when we light it back up, it's reds. So Okay. Alright, sounds good. Because I don't want to be in charge of it. I'm like fairly high after that little fucking coffin fit. <coughs> good golly, Miss Molly. I will say DJ set us up with some good stuff this time. I like it. All right, right. So this fucking dude's man. hauling. Yeah, he is. No, you want to talk about hauling? There was a oh. bike that went screaming through here today. A crotch rocket that literally you could hear going, <laughs> and it's like whistling. Yeah. You could just hear it just coming, 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 and all of a sudden it's, and then like I told her, I'm like, look over there, and literally as she looked, it was like. And all of a sudden, literally within like two seconds, you couldn't even see it. It was already past the neighbor's yeah. house. I was like, holy fuck. And they're she's like, that dude was hauling dick. I'm like, he better hope. It was like 630. Like I was like, time. this dude better hope to God there ain't no fucking deer out. Because out here, that see, this, just it's let out. They must have let it out. This is like the fourth or fifth car in a row. Wow. Yeah. It's probably like 10 o'clock on the dot. Wow. 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 So you got a word for the day? A word for the day? A word for the day. I guess so. Uh, If I can get my phone to pop up my screenshot. A touches. A touches. A titches. 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 How the fuck am I supposed to guess it if you can't even fucking touch it? Shut up. Shut up. Titches. (laughs) Spell it. T U C H A S. This is the uh, spelling episode of the guys. I, I know. Anymore. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> Red had to spell some shit for us. Now I have to spell some shit for us. I didn't even listen. To you best hope spelled. to God that Mal don't have to spell some shit because <laughs> her spelling's worse than mine is oh, half the time. Terrible. Oh, it's worse oh, than mine. Don't stuff. remind me of a story for after this, okay? Anyways, Touches. you guys gonna name it or say something? Touches. Jesus Christ. Touches. Is it like kind of like a duchess, but it's the person who touches a lot of people? Like maybe <laughs> it's not some kind of file. <laughs> uh, oh, was it? okay. So a molester got you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I was on the same person. Like you grab my ass. Like any fucking chance it's anywhere near you. I'm not no. gonna lie. I was on the same track. So <laughs> so we're talking molester. Okay. Um, touches. <laughs> touches. You touch the ass. I touches the bootay. I touches the touches. Touches the bootay. I touches the tatas. Yeah, he does. I have no clue what she's talking about. Why? All right, you guys ready? Yeah. The Jewish slang word refers to the ever-expanding rear end. It is known as that known that many Jewish women have large touches. In large you breasts. You pronounced it wrong. It's tukis. 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 Well, there's no O in it, and it's a C-H. That's not a k- That's how you... I can't... Tuk- okay, is. listen. My throat can't it's make... It's tukis. Yeah, but... Tuk- yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Right. right. Tukis. No, that's fucking stupid. Anyways, in large, in large yeah. chest. This is particularly true after the Jewish holidays gr- due to great Jewish cooking. It is also to be defined as the Jewish cushioning device. I, was I just thought that was funny. Took us the ass. Okay, sorry. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I even spelled it for you. You said to spell it, so I did. And then you guys didn't didn't However, pick that up. I, guess, I stand I by my first statement. How the fuck are we supposed to guess if you can't even pronounce it? Shut <laughs> the fuck up. And you also asked both of us to spell like. I know I made the joke. This is the spelling episode, but uh, <laughs> I can't. Oh, shit either. We're, all <laughs> we're gonna have to, that's what we're gonna have to call it. Who can spell anyways? <laughs> oh, it's not fuck. me. I usually Who's have to spelling do it anyways. anyways. When one of my well, when the boy comes to me and goes, Mom, how do you spell this? I'm like, Hey Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And it goes and it goes <laughs> and it goes, What do you want, bitch? <laughs> it's better than the middle of the quote <laughs> fucking Oh, it, I don't think it's gonna tell me anything. <clears throat> nope. That's funny. She should have let it go. She just said, hey, Google, and then kept going with it. Yeah, but what would I have asked it? 
whatever knows? just the conversation was at the point. I should have asked how to spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I can't even. How does she say that? I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say But anything. she can say that, but can't say cinnamon. <laughs> Come on, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, or ambulance. Oh, yeah. Or, like, I can understand character is a little hard. Okay, okay. <laughs> Caricature. But, like, aluminum or cinnamon. Aluminum. She can't say, but she can say super califragic, whatever the fuck it is. Okay. <laughs> like, she wasted. She can say 37 fucking letters in one word, but she can't fucking say seven. Like, come on now. I can sing the whole song, too. Oh, my God. I have no clue what the fuck song she's talking about. I don't fucking Oh that. my god. I can't tell you the last time I watched Murray Pulpins. Well, now you have to watch Probably it. sixth grade. You know that? I Probably love sixth grade I, I math, even, or sixth grade uh, music uh, class. You can't I didn't even say think that, that word, though. I, didn't, I thought you, I swear to God, you said it with me. No, no. I don't even know how, like, <laughs> I get lost at Frowl yeah, something right now. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Super califragil. Yeah, that that's about as far as I make it. Every time. Super That's about what I get there. Yeah, I can't say simonin, recyclables, <laughs> adubinum. Yeah, like seven seven letter Ambulance. words, but you can say a thirty seven word letter word. Well it's kinda like video games. I can play Modern Warfare and Halo like a song bitch, but I can't play Mario to save my fucking life. <laughs> she can't either. <laughs> I she fucks up her timing so bad. I'm like, I, I think it's how? the transition from 3D to 2D. Well, like, my problem is, is you have 37 buttons you hit on an Xbox controller to play Halo. Mm-hmm. You use two on a ND or <laughs> uh, N, yeah NDS controller. I can't do she it. She can't fucking do it. I'm like, how? You can hit 37 <laughs> buttons on an Xbox, but you can't do two. So, I can't play Super Mario 3, but I can, like, speed run Super <coughs> Mario World in, like, 35 minutes. Like, I can beat Super Mario World <coughs> in 35 minutes. I've played Every- the shit out of this game. Like, I know we the back door interests and all that. And try and all play together. Because, and show Red exactly what happens. I know. She jumps I on you. Mario with when you. you have, when you have the one that you can be Toad and all them, and you get yeah. three of them in the thing, when she, like, she'll jump, and when she doesn't make it, and you're jumping, she'll <laughs> jump on you, and you jump into the hole. And then she's safe, and be your ear, fuck. Like, ugh. Your platform. That's the shit, yeah! That's the shit she does to you, and then the actual good player dies. <laughs> and then she gets fucked up by the next fucking uh, flying turtle she sees, and you're like, fuck me. <laughs> I don't live long enough to get that. That's back. what she does, yeah. Like, the very next Goomba she sees, she goes, oh, what's that, dead? Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> you're like, fuck. I'm so bad at that game. Like, so bad. But I tell you Dude. what, we I can give him for a run for his money on Halo. <laughs> and don't ever play Modern Warfare with her. Don't. Modern Warfare I, I challenge you to Modern I Warfare wouldn't. one day. I wouldn't. But I'd have She to. knows the every <laughs> fucking inch of every fucking map. Do you know the if outside she's of the map? Screen, well, she screen watches. Do you know the outside? Uh, okay, screen watches. So, she, yeah, she screen so, watches, and she knows every inch of every map. So she's like, oh, he's going to come around the corner. Bang! And she plays asshole mode where you get shot once and you're dead. So, like, every fucking time. I hate hardcore I've mode. worked hard enough that my gun is pimped the fuck out. See, that's the thing. I would want my guns also pimped out, so I'd have to play a bunch of fucking games to level up. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't have time to do that again. I have played so much Modern Warfare in the past. Like, Modern well, Warfare 2 is my... That's, that's my... Yeah, I, I love Modern Warfare 2. I tried to do Modern Warfare 3, I'm not... Uh, as... So, do you remember the carnival <coughs> place you could go to? The DLC for 2, or was that 3? I think it was for 3, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it was for 3, they came out with the carnival. And you could only get... You had to pay for it. Yeah, to play yeah. It. That map, I figured out how to get to the very top of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Before it was a thing. Before it was a known thing. Nice. And I got 22 people straight, and I was this close to having a nuke. I'm like, son of a fuck. 
You remember the uh, two buildings where you're on the rooftop and then the two buildings? Where you can, so, I remember jumping off onto, like, the fucking uh, crane. Oh, you're talking about High Rise. Yeah, High Rise, that's the Buddy, one. Buddy, I know every little hiding spot in High Rise. <laughs> and he's like, and when we play with people, he's like, for the love of God, <laughs> don't let her get to this spot over there, because then we're all fucked. And he she's, she's not fun to play that game with. The worst part Just, is, is like everybody tries to quick scope in that game. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm a fucking hard scoper. I'll hard scope the shit out of that game. If you, I don't care, I will watch you in my scope for three minutes and then. <laughs> no, I will not. If I get you in my crosshairs, that's it. If I see your toe, because I have a thermal scope, if I see your fucking toe, I will nail your toe and kill you. Right. Yeah, it's the most asshole <laughs> shit game It you've pisses ever him seen off. Ever. He's like, how did I die? I won't and I'm like, play I it saw your her. toe. I won't play it with you her. You won't. I done played it with her three times. And after see, the third I don't time, play hardcore, I couldn't so. even get like I two kills. Hardcore. I couldn't even get two kills at a 20 game match. You can get, you give me run for my money no. anymore. Last time we played. No. You, you beat me a couple times. Literally, <laughs> like, I'll get two kills on a 20 game match, or a 20 kill match. I'm not even shitting you. Because she just fucking watches your screen, and she's like, eh, pull the trigger. And you're dead, and you're like... You do like playing the survival mode with me. Yeah, Because you don't have to screen watch. Yeah, because we, we're you're on the same fucking each team. Other. We're on the same fucking team, so you're not ass-raping me. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's when you gotta uh, work together I and miss kill doing bots. that with you, by the way. That's what you should do is get work together and kill bots. That's what we did. Yeah, dogs. That's bots, what survival mode is. All kinds of shit. It was fun. We used to fun. like to play in a subway one. Yeah, we did. Because you have to stay in the subway terminals. We had a whole game, and we plan. had yeah, we had like a way we used to play it. Yeah, we literally had a plan for was, every fucking round. Uh, Black Ops Two, and I didn't play Black Ops Two. No, was it too I played a couple. It's a it's zombie mode, right? Where you're fighting the no, no zombies. They're just cops. No, no. Oh. can I have one of your kisses? Do you want a hug or a kiss? Give me something for fuck's sake. Yeah. The fuck's the difference? You can have one of both. Okay. Sure. I lose. Oh shit! Oh, we didn't just finish that fucker off. Why are we playing again? Now you're changing sitting. the direction. Yo. Asset. Ass. Oh. No. We haven't played video games together in a while. No. But it doesn't help that my 360 just died. Mm hmm. Makes me sad. Yeah, me too. My 360. Because now my. Our get. Xbox One blows at I bet we anything. can get another one, Oof. though, for a decent price because it's a 360. Probably find one on fucking Facebook for 50 bucks. Probably. We should look into that after the boy's birthday. <laughs> and we're not broke as fuck. I'm not helping the cause. It's it was my big concert I'm going to this weekend. Concert! Yeah! It's fine. We got it. We got it figured out. I have... I've had enough appointments that I'm able to help get all his shit. We just ordered the lights and stuff for his bearded dragon today. Nice. Yeah, we'll be getting that in the next week or two. Baby bearded dragons. Yeah, because when he gets home on Monday, he'll get to find out what he's getting, and then he gets to pick out his baby. Yeah, he gets to pick out his French fry. That's what he's going to name it? Yeah. Yep. That's what he says, so we'll see. I'm naming mine Tamale. It's going to be a red one. You ever seen a red bearded dragon? They're super I'll fucking cool. I'll be interested cool. in seeing it. They're super fucking cool. I'll be interested in seeing it. And I'm gonna name her Tamale. It's a cute and name. You have cute. Jackson. I do. I have. Re- I have my butt head. <laughs> we have. A- I love the shit out of him. He hates the fuck out of me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a love hate relationship. It ain't no lie. I'm, well, I'm I mean, aware of you it. put little girly <laughs> hats on him. No, no, no. No, 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 no he had a cape. Oh, cape. She put the cape on him, and he tore it off and shook it, and then spit it back out. And then glared at me very angrily. <laughs> like, you know how he glares at you. You've seen it. Like, yeah. he just fucking side-eyes the fuck out of you. Yeah, that's what he does. So then he does it to Mal for, like, three minutes straight, just like, bitch. 
<laughs> don't like, oh, do that God. shit again. I don't want it. Yeah, he was not a fan. We haven't tried putting the top hat on him yet. I'm going to eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to go well, but I'm going to try. Yeah. What you need to do is make him like a little hammer so he can grab the hammer and... Ooh, the... No, okay. The lady that I get the hats and stuff from, she'll be there this month. And she is going to have little lumberjack costumes for them. And guess who's getting one? Watch and see. Oh, God. Yeah, she's bad. Like, she buys clothes for the snacks and shit. Which none of our snacks have even worn a hat yet. And we have, like, eight hats for them. Well, we haven't got them out, got your camera out stuff yet. And... I'm sorry, but I'm not putting a hat on Mocha quite yet. That just sounds like a bad day and a bad life choice. Well, you don't have to. You can just put them on the balls. They don't care. Which, the balls, I'm down. I don't think Terry would appreciate it too much either, though. <laughs> don't do it to Terry, She's kind of head shy. A little bit. She's like, not as bad as she used to Like, if you, like, there. put your hand on her head, like, if you put your thumb on her head, I think she'd freak out. She'd be like... She'd, like, whip back and be like, what are you doing, fucker? If I set something Somebody's on her head, she probably grabbed her by the... Oh, I'm sure she's been headed before. Oh, I'm sure. Because she's... Not a fan. No. And, I mean, that's fine. We're working with her very slowly, and she's getting better about it. And then people wonder why they their cobras hate them. Because they head them. They don't have a choice, though. I know, that's... but I'm just saying, like, that's why their cobra hates them. They're but like, you know what? oh, are you gonna fucking hold me down again, dickhead? But you know like, what? Did I you think watch... that's dead one and two. I passed it the wrong way. That's okay. okay. Do you, I mean, have you ever watched uh, Chandler head Kevin? He's very gentle about it, and Kevin does not freak out. He can head Kevin very gently, and he pulls the stuck shed off his eye and stuff like when it, when he has to. And then when he lets go, he's very gentle how he lets go, and Kevin doesn't lose his shit. Kevin doesn't freak out. It's all in how you do it, and it's all in how you your reptile is. Like He's like his other one he's got. What the fuck's her name? Begins with a J. Anyway, she's uh, not so mellow. And he's like, see, I can't do it quite this nicely with her because she'll fuck you up. Mm. Justina, that's her name. Bottle. Yeah. That's the name. Yeah, she's none, not nearly as friendly as Kevin. At all. Bottle. Yeah. One well, yeah. day Kevin's going to be pissed, though. He knows I don't know, I wouldn't fuck with a cobra. Like, not any kind. Not an Egyptian, not a forest, not a monocle, not a, a spectacle, not I a fuck. Still, like, I still don't even want to fuck with your guys. The only like, cobra like, he's down with fucking with is a false water cobra. And it's rear fang venomous, it's not even a cobra. It's they're just, really fucking cool. Yeah. It's a false water cobra because they pretend to be a cobra. It's like a defense. They, like, fan up. They but, flatten their body out. Yeah. That's really nifty. Sounds cool. I found another new snake I want to get. A new kind. So he's not venomous? They Rear are, fang. but it's very, very minimal. Uh, it's like the hoggies, kind of how they're set up. That we were talking about. When okay. We okay. He was like, wait, I'm not going to play this because she's going to get into it. <laughs> it's the first venomous snake that we're planning on buying. P.S. They play dead and they're funny as fuck and they're overly dramatic. Yeah. Like, if you poke them, they'll, like, flop over with their tongue out. And then <laughs> if you try to roll... open. If you try... Well, yeah, with their mouth wide open. If you try to roll them over, they just keep rolling. <laughs> and roll back over on their back, and they just flail and squirm with their mouth open. Their tongue. Oh, my God. They're the most dramatic creatures in the world. And I we'll love it so much. We'll have to show so you a much. video of it. It's hilarious. I love it. I love how dramatic they are about everything in life. They'll false charge she's you all like, the time. She's like, they're, uh... My spirit animal. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Because she's very dramatic at times. I don't know if you've ever seen that part of Mal, but... <laughs> Not always, but sometimes. Definitely very dramatic at times. That's where the boy gets it from. Yeah. He's worse than an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> he is. Like, today, Marco. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> you can start. I don't even know. He's like... <clears throat> he was covering his bases. Yeah. <laughs> Today, he couldn't find a shirt for school because he's a pain in the bum. And it was almost time for the bus to come, so I quickly grabbed one of my shirts, okay? Now, this shirt is a black t-shirt 
with a skull on the front and it says Rock on the Range, and the back is just like the band list. It's a band P. Okay? Okay. So, it's not a girl shirt. It was his! And he gave it to me! And I was letting, I told him to wear this, because his bus was getting ready to come. He threw a fit and did not want to be seen in that shirt today. To the point where he tried to turn inside out. And when I told him to turn it right side out, he did, and then turned it out right inside out at school. Because he was too embarrassed to wear it today. Okay. And I'm like, why? I don't understand. Because I don't like it. Okay, but it's not a... I, it, I did not give him, like, some girly feminine shirt or... Right. You know what I mean? I made sure it was a shirt that would be fine. Right. You know, like, nobody would guess it wasn't his shirt. Right. Like, he overly dramatic. Cars are so loud right now. So I told Red earlier that uh, I would have been to his house sooner, but going down Worst Street, I followed a guy going eight miles an hour. <laughs> eight? In a, yes, in a piece of shit old 1980s Ford F-150. <coughs> And he was doing it on purpose because my light is not centered and it's a little high, so it was in his mirror. But I had plenty of distance between me and them, and I didn't have my high beams on. And he was like looking in his mirror and just watching me. And then got to the stop sign and sat there and let like eight cars go by. And then still sat there for like another minute, and then another car went by. And he kept sitting there and he was look- looking to see if I had my turning signals on. And I just didn't have him on, so I was like, I'm not dealing with this guy. So after he got across the intersection, then I turned, and I was like, fuck you. I was like, what the fuck? People are asshats. Like, I'm like, if you want to just try to, you know, fuck around, just fuck around and find out. That's right, fine. Right. I'd have yelled out the window at that point. That's what if they were probably... If you want to fight, we can fucking fight. Like, that's, that's okay. That's probably what they were waiting on. If it would have been 24-year-old me, it probably would have went down. (laughs) But in my older age of Uh, uh, 30 plus... I gotta remember, I got back pain if I throw down. Oh, I don't have that problem, trust me. Like, I still go to shows and throw down to shows. Here's my problem. Even in that kind of situation, I'm like, that's future my problem. (laughs) The problem is I also put a lot of weight on future my... (laughs) Or future mal. Oops. Oh, man. Uh, Butthole. You know what the beautiful part is? What? You can cut out the ear. <laughs> oh my god. god. Just. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you hurt my brain. I'm going to give you a sound clip of all of our pitches of when we say our names, and you can just splice them in whenever we right. say our names. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> we were so good for so long. Yeah, like every time she would go to say one of the kids' names, I'd be like, the baby. <laughs> and she would be like, the baby. I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> or I'd say, the other boy. <laughs> like, I don't know if she noticed it, but she hasn't said any of their names all night. I was pretty proud of her. And then she gone, done, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> she was so close. But yeah, so far... Away. It didn't even matter. I saw it in time. Holy fuck. Wow. Mm-hmm. She's a bitch. She's not been that bad lately. Good lord. <coughs> I think she's bad at us. <laughs> Something. Because we haven't spoke out of her in a while. Neglect. Yeah, that was a fuck of a hit, too. She's not used to being in the cabinet. I thought she'd like the cabinet. <coughs> Apparently, she's not impressed. So I thought of an idea for a movie. Like, okay. the dopest I've, idea of a movie I've ever thought of. So, you know how mediums always say that you have a past life? 
Yeah. <clears throat> like your soul's most recent past life, they can tell you about it, blah, blah, blah. So what if in the movie, somebody figures out who their past life was, and it was somebody of somewhat significance? So then they research them, so then they start remembering when they were them. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're... <coughs> <laughs> like visit yourself in your dreams, right? Well, you could re- like visit what you did in your yeah, past yeah. life, and like they start trying to tell teach other people about it, and then like the government comes after them because they're like teaching people what uh, like, actually was like, covered up, like different stuff that they could, yeah, like they could have found out, like one could have been a past president that knew shit that other people didn't know about, and they're like, guys, this is what I did, and like this is who I was, and like. Right. Wouldn't that be dope and, like, the government comes after them and, like, I don't know how you'd end that shit, but, like, that's a dope-ass idea. You're like, but I have the base of an idea. Like, have you've never heard of anything like that. No, that's really cool. That'd be pretty... Pretty pretty fucking dope. Yeah, Yeah, right? That'd be pretty fucking dope. Find out you're, like, JFK or some shit. Gotta find out how you get, uh... I have to stop getting a bullet in your head. And then, like, what if you could, like, change things because, like, you can, like make yourself, like, into that time period and change something. Like, know to duck at the right time. Oh, that'd be crazy. Like, you get to hit X button. You get to hit the X button one time, and it pauses the moment, and you can go in and be like, hey. Uh. (laughs) Yeah, that that should be good. (laughs) We'll go with this. But then, like, Continue. that changes the course of history, and, like, that would just make, like, right. shit intense. Yeah, it would. I think it'd be a dope-ass movie. Great. Dope-ass movie. Yeah, it's mine. Oh. Oh, she almost had you that time, bud. <laughs> oh, God damn hiccups. Now, watch, somehow, somebody, like, Records By the way, copyright, home. copyright, right. copyright, <laughs> copyright, trademark, um, what's all of them? Like, somebody, like, watches this and, like, is like, that's a genius idea, that's my next movie. And then I'm like, well, fuck, I we're, had that. We're like, stamp I could, this. like, this is recorded, today is we should write September down the- 9th, 2021. <laughs> if it comes out in the future, I said it. Eighth September eighth September two thousand twenty one. I'm just saying, if it ever comes out, you've heard it right now. Just saying, because right. that's a dope ass like idea. <laughs> Have like Tom Cruise play one of the people, like you know, that'd be something he'd be. Oh, good if at. anybody tries to cover it, <clears throat> um, yeah, like Tom Cruise could be one. Like you are so <laughs> destined to get this. I think it would be a dope ass idea, right? Like have an actual movie writer write one out that was that you know. I should look up where you can be uh, like a person that comes up with ideas for movies and see like what that pays. I'm sure it probably pays good, pretty good, and see if I could find my way to like Steven Spielberg, or if I could find my way to like uh, James. I, I'm Bay. just gonna ask for one percent because I threw in some ideas in there. I don't know if it's, <laughs> what, it's not James Bay. What is it? Michael Bay, right? He's the yeah, one that did the yeah. Transformers and stuff. Like he always has really dope fucking movies. Like I'd be there'd be explosions. Or, uh, um, M Night Shyamalan. Yeah. I'd be all oh, about M Night M- Shyamalan. M. Night that, would be a huge, that would be a good. That would be a it, good twist. Movie well, because too. well, he's really good at doing thrillers and shit. He could make something like that into a thriller. Like that would be dope. Make a dope ass thriller out of it somehow. Because it's M Night Shyamalan. Like he I said, you get one X button. Can we, can we have the movie uh, Signs? <laughs> I don't know if we have Signs or not. I want to watch it. It's really good. It's one of my mom's favorite movies. I love that movie. It always freaks me out and I don't sleep for about a week, but I love that movie. <laughs> Especially since we have Cornfields right meow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, Cornfields, like, not even 100 meters from our house. My dad always got freaked out after Children of the Corn yeah. came out. <laughs> because he lived around Cornfields his entire life. So after Children of the Corn come out, it just freaked him out every time he got <coughs> into the cornfield. And he lived, like, there was one on every side of his road. Didn't matter which direction he went. <laughs> he had to go buy a cornfield. Sweet. 
That was a Matrix moment, just saying. <laughs> you two are like fucking four-year-olds, you know that, right? <laughs> We're Aries. <laughs> For fuck's sake. They're literally playing a game. We didn't even do a fucking... Uh, we had an a actual mini. Invite. Yeah, we did a mini, I guess, because <coughs> we were about out of time. Our fucking fourth pipe's about out, and these two yeah. are acting more childish by the moment. <laughs> I just caught you water, you butthead. It doesn't mean that she's not being childish otherwise. Churlish. You're being churlish. Like, I don't know how that happened, though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was... She's like, yeah! I'm not... I was kind of just as surprised as everybody else. <laughs> I said it there, and then all of a sudden I thought you, like, knocked it over on purpose. I'm like, what the fuck? What you didn't see is she also blocked another shot. I did! When he did, I went like this and hit it, and it's all the way over there now. Right it's after. Like, the fuck up! No, wait, wait, all the way across the... Yeah, like, I was on a roll for a second. It was like, whoa, whoa, Magic! She was in the moment! She's like, Magic! <coughs> all right. I think that's about our time for the yeah. night. We are Audi. Later. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube and whatever you're Download, on, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Wherever the hell you are. Uh, we don't Just know. because yeah. as much as we could get out there, it's, the better it is for us, you know. And I mean, obviously, it shows that you guys like it. And we appreciate seeing that you guys like it. So yes, we would it just makes love smile. to. It really does. Yeah. Love to see that sub. Love seeing everything. You know, we're going to get everything here rolling here soon. So, on that set, I also want to say that we have our episode comes out every Friday night. Usually, hopefully, we like to get out about 4 20. And depending on work schedules, it doesn't always work out that way. But we try. But- <clears throat> so, you can hear the Ganja people every Friday night after 4 30 ish. Somewhere in the afternoon, evening time. Yep. Every single week. All right. On that note, we's going to say we're out. So, just remember, don't let your meatloaf. Keep it creative. Keep it dank, Ganja Gang. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. <laughs>